Well, I want to find some Mars. And German scientists test artificial sun. Now, don't go getting all excited. This is not fusion power they're talking about. I wish that thing wouldn't keep doing that. You know, see if we can just close it out. All right. Uh, scientists in Germany flipped the switch Thursday on what's being described as the world's Largest artificial sun, and which they hope will shed light on new ways of making climate-friendly fuel. The giant honeycomb-like setup of 149 spotlights, officially known as Sinlight, in Julich, about 19 miles west of Cologne, uses xenon short arc lamps normally found in cinemas to simulate natural Sunlight that's often in short supply in Germany at this time of year. They're focusing the entire array on 20 by 20 centimeter or 8 by 8 inch spot. Scientists from the German Aerospace Center DLR would be will be able to produce the equivalent of 10,000 times the amount of solar radiation that would normally sh shine on the same surface. Creating such furnace-like conditions with temperatures up to 3,000 degrees Celsius or 5,432 degrees Fahrenheit is key to testing novel ways of making hydrogen, according to the Bernhard Hofschmidt Direction DLR's Institute for Solar Research. Many consider hydrogen to be the fuel of the future because it produces no carbon emissions when burned, which means it doesn't add to global warming. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. But since hydrogen doesn't occur naturally, it has to be made by splitting water into two components, other oxygen being oxygen, in the process that currently requires large amounts of electricity. Researchers hope to bypass the electricity stage by tapping in an enormous amount of energy that reaches Earth in the form of sun, light from the sun. Hofschmidt said the dazzling display is designed to take experiments done in smaller labs to the next level, adding that one Researchers have mastered hydrogen making techniques with thin lights, th lights 350 kilowatt array. Process can be scaled up to tenfold on the way by to reaching its level fit for industry. The goal is eventually to use artificial sunlight rather than artificial light produced at the Julek experiment which requires as much electricity in four hours as four person household would use in a year. Hoshmitt concluded that hydrogen isn't without its problems. Yeah, you uh, Huns should know that after the Hindenburg blew up. For one thing, it's incredibly volatile, but by combining it with Carbon monoxide produced from renewable sources, scientists would be able to make eco-friendly kerosene for the aviation industry. And not sure how they go there. How do you get eco-friendly kerosene? Uh, from creating hydrogen. I'm not getting that. Oh well, that's a mad science update for today. They lied about hydrogen because once you burn it, you produce water vapor. And when you produce water vapor, water vapor is the biggest greenhouse gas there is. Not that I think Earth is warming up. It's not. But, uh, Water vapor 
its biggest greenhouse gas, and they completely ignore it. Which is nothing new. They, the left always ignores facts. They're artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.